Hi friends, in this video, I'm going to give you the demo of this application, Tecla Excel Live Link. We have made a few changes to this application to make it more user friendly. By adding a few options, you can see the template content type, and you can also create or extract the data in different units. Let me just walk you through these additional options. You can add your own user different attribute to this list. For example, type your attribute name and then select the data type. Add new column. Next time when you run this application, it will retrieve the values of all these attributes. Next is template. Check this box and click to open the drop down list it will show all the reports on your system you can select any report and extract the data for example if i select the part list report what exactly it happens this is my part list report so it is going to read the attributes from this report and retrieve the values in excel sheet and when you run this application using this template, it will ignore this Excel column list. Next is content type. To update the property name list, open the drop down list and select assembly. Let me just select bold. And you can see it shows the main attributes and user different attributes of the content type. Next is part and weld. By using this option, it will give you access to all the attributes. If you want to search for any particular attribute, you can type the name here. For example, I'm going to search for finish and click search. What happens is that it will read the content type and it will display the attributes associated to this content type. And it is very important for you to select the content type before you add any attributes to your column list. The next option is you can create or extract the data in different units, millimeters, inches and feet and inches. Let's see the live demo. Before you run the application, you should open blank Excel sheet. Click on any one of the cells to activate the sheet because you may have multiple sheets here. And you can run this application by selecting the objects in the model or using the filter option. When you check this box, it will display all the filters stored on your system. You can select any one of them and run this application but for the demo i'm going to keep this option off and select only the part and let me just run the application now as i said since i keep this option on it is going to ignore the excel column list let me just click synchronize to excel now you can see it gives you the information of the part list report. Let me select bold summary list. Add an another sheet and click to activate and select only the bolts. And then click synchronize to Excel. So you can see the bold information. Let me create an another sheet. Change the content type to part. Let me search for the name and add to the list. So if you can see there is a name at the top and uh, another one at the bottom because this name is not associated to the part. I just want to extract the data in Excel sheet and you can understand the 
importance of selecting the content type before you search for any particular attribute. Let me select the parts in the model. Click synchronize to Excel. Now you can see the first column is blank. It is just because as I said, this name is not associated to the part. Let me create an another sheet and then remove the name. You can change the sequence of the attributes and click synchronize to Excel. When it extracts the information, it will automatically create the filter option. So you can click the drop down list and then you can deselect all the boxes and let me select only the column and click OK so that it will display the details of the selected criteria. Let me select all. And the next option is you can select the objects in the model. For example, I'm selecting this column and this Berlin and rafter. And once I click filter rows by selected objects, it will show the data of the selected parts. Click show all rows. And let me select only the column now. I'm going to select this name column and highlight objects by selected rows. You can see all the columns are selected. The other advantage of using this application, I can change the values in Excel sheet and by clicking the synchronized model by selected rows, it will automatically update the Tecla model. Let me show you. I'm going to change all the column class to number five and the material is 300 plus. So let me select these two columns and then click synchronize to model by selected rows. Now you can see all the column class has been updated and once you double click, you can also see the material is 300 plus. So what about changing the bolt or weld? So let me select bolt and create an another sheet. I'm selecting only the bolt switch. Just for the demo, let me take these two bolt groups. Click synchronize to Excel. Now you can see. Let me change the bolt size to 16 and this is 4.6 S. And then I'm selecting both the columns and then click synchronize to model by selected rows. Now you can see the size has been updated and standard has been updated. Next, we will extract the data for the weld. So in that case, I have to show the weld in the model. Now I'm going to select welds in the model and then go to the Excel sheet, add an another sheet and then click synchronize to Excel. Now you can see it gives you the data of the selected welds. I use this application for checking my project and it saves nearly 50 to 20 hours. Actually, I have created this application to help you. If you have any specific question about this application, feel free to get in touch with me. And thank you for watching this video.